Good evening. I'm very happy to see that the IAC, inspired by my mother's legacy, created the Women Community Leadership Network, Gvanim Ramon. When I was nine years old, I lost my father. When I was 16, I lost my big brother, Asaf. And last year, I lost my mother. But they're all standing here with me today. My name is Iftah Hamon, and I'm here to say that my family and I insist that our name will not become a symbol of tragedy or grief. I'm here to say that people can take their sorrow and grief and turn them into actions to create a better future. When my father was chosen as the first Israeli astronaut, he felt he represented all Jews and all Israelis. He took items which reflected his past and his connection to the Jewish, peop the Jewish people. Kosher food, a mezuzah, a beautiful drawing of the moon drawn by a boy dreaming of freedom in the Trezinstadt ghetto, and a tiny Torah scroll used by a boy for his bar mitzvah during the Holocaust. My father always searched for the greater meaning and purpose in his life. He died on Space Shuttle Columbia with his friends, Rick, Willie, Mike, Casey, Laurel, and Dave. He died while fulfilling his dream, serving his country and his people. His story is a story of a Zionist hero. Mike Massimino, a NASA astronaut who trained with my dad, wrote in his book, when we lost Elon, we lost more than a great pilot and a friend. We lost someone who could have made a difference in a very difficult part of the world. I was raised to understand that in order to find meaning in life, to find a purpose, you need to believe in what you are doing. I believe that education is the best way for us to grow a better society and to give those who need it a chance for a better future. My father believed that, my mother believed that, and she was the one to make it all happen. When we came back to Israel, we all chose life. My mother started her public activism, and my brother Asaf fulfilled his dream by becoming a pilot in the Israeli Air Force. His graduation was a huge national celebration. President Shimon Peres granted him his graduation pin because he finished first in his class. Asaf became a symbol of rising from tragedy. Asaf, just like my father, died while fulfilling his dream and serving his country. He lost his life in a training accident above the skies of southern Israel. We were devastated, hopeless, and I was completely broken. But my mother used to say that the only thing left for us is the choice. How we choose to get up and what tunes do we choose to play. So after a soft accident, we all chose life once again. Tal, my older brother, is a musician and his music gives him light and inspiration. Noah, my younger sister, is a very talented artist. The unique quality of her art is that you can see her true feelings reflected in her work. And I understood that lifting others helps me lift myself. And that was when my mother and I first discussed the idea of the Ramon Foundation. We knew it wouldn't be easy, but we were inspired by my father and brother. My mother channeled our tragedies into a force for positive, impactful change for the next generation. She asked astronauts who came to my dad's memorials to give lectures and classes. That was the beginning of the Israeli Space Week. Now more than 100,000 Israelis take part in it every year. She asked the soft friends from the Israeli Air Force to volunteer in schools across Israel. And today, 23 squadrons take part in the Aviators Club program. 
She assisted the Goldberg family, who are with us today, to establish a conference that gives Israeli space engineers a stage to present their ideas. She founded, together with the government, scholarship funds, STEM centers, competitions for children, and tournaments, sending three student experiments into space every year. Even during her sickness, she managed to lay a cornerstone for a youth at risk pre military academy named after Asaf. The educational activity gave us all hope and strength. My mother never wanted the focus to be on her grief, but only on her educational activity. A year ago, she was awarded the Israel Prize, the Israeli Medal of Honor, for being a national inspiration and for her non stopping educational activity. She passed away one year ago fighting cancer. Garrett Reisman, a NASA astronaut who is always by our side, said that my mother had a special gift. She had the ability not only to see who you are, but also to see who you can become. So this is my family's story. We channel our tragedies into strength to make a change. We continue taking our sorrow and grief and turn them into actions to create a better future. It is our way to keep my father, brother, and mother's legacy alive. Despite the many tragedies, we choose life every day. So I want to invite you to join us and help us inspire as many people as we can. My family dedicated their lives to Israel and to the Jewish people. It is my honor and duty to continue their mission. It is our mission now. Thank you very much.